in the clinic at the moment, we are we reach the point of being able to melt much more fat than the human body is able to release. Wow. Because this is the way we do non-surgical. It means that I do not remove from there the 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 broken fat cell, the broken fat cells, but the body will release it. But so we reach a point where for us is not about getting results. It's about not not breaking so much. So we are very successful. So we try to kind of all these tests. I retired. Oh, yeah, thank you. Okay, guys, how's it going? Um, today we're talking about, you know, the, the, the discussion of the decades, of the centuries, of, of the lifetime. It's always about weight loss. It's always about how do we lead a healthy lifestyle? What are the right decisions we need to make and what to resort to when we're looking to lead a healthy lifestyle or to, to kickstart our healthy journey? With me in the studio is Cosmina Moldovanu expert in medicine, aesthetics, and lifestyle medicine, and the founder of Slim with Cosmina. Cosmina, how are you? I'm very good, thank you. <laughs> thank you for having me today. No, it's my absolute pleasure. We were just having like a very long discussion before we actually hit record, and I can't wait to have this discussion with you because I feel like um, this is something that everyone struggles with, either um, at a certain port point of their life or throughout their life. I mean, some people, it comes in phases. Some people, it's been a lifelong struggle. And it's always nice to put it to rest and to see success stories the right way. So that's what we're going to talk about. But before we get into all of this, I, I'm always interested in knowing how people started their journey. So what got you to start this? I started from my personal struggle. Okay. So this this made me understand what the patients and what the people go through. 13 years ago, uh, I, due to a um, hormonal treatment, I gained 22 kilos in wow. a very short period of time. Okay. And uh, I was a professional swimmer. I never had problems with the weight, but that was big on me. Mm. Like mentally, it really affected me a lot. I never experienced cellulite, I never experienced, you know, to feel heavy. And I was going up the stairs in the clinic where I was working at that time, and I was feeling that overweight carried with me all the time. Mm. And it's really heavy. Like, yeah. I, I, it's like you, I was get, taking 22 kilos dumbbells and I was walking around with, and it was really, it was really not comfortable at all. I, I tried at that time, everything stayed, in, like, everything was available at that time, I tried treatments with machines I tried let's say diets I wouldn't call it diet but uh, okay. yeah I tried everything nothing worked I, 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 I was accessing my my studies in uh, food science and uh, it really helped me like I start really going to my uh, to the to the books so I went to my books and I was okay let me let me see how can I help myself so this is the point where I started my journey in, in losing weight, but was very something which really was very interesting for me. They were the machines. Uh, okay. I didn't know anything about aesthetics at that time at all. I was working in a hospital in Romania, so I, I didn't know about any of these machines available. So I, of course, I tried in a clinic where I used to work, slimming treatments, but I didn't see any results. So literally I went to the storage I pulled out the, the manuals of the machines and I started reading. These manuals are mainly for engineers. I, I, I understood very well the, what was written there because I also have an engineering background. So actually, all of these studies which I, which I did in my young age, it, it actually I pulled them all together and I started digging more into, into the subject of slimming. So I started understanding what the machine should do and what, what should do in the human body and what they were not doing, actually, because okay. the machines, they were, I mean, I tried, it made sense from the manual, but it, there was not, there were no results. The good part is that uh, they didn't, I didn't have any side effects. Okay. Uh, if I was trying now treatments, slimming treatments, just from left to right, I think I would end up with a with a major side, side effect because yeah. this is what I treat on a daily basis. To be honest, everyone is looking for that quick fix. Everyone wants the fad diets, you know, the ones that like give you a quick six kilo drop when it's not sustainable or, exactly. you know, the weight loss injections or the invasive procedures. I mean, we're going to discuss all of these. Um, 
But uh, I want to start with the weight loss procedures or like the surgical procedures. I want to know your input on that. And I want to know why, in your opinion, they're not sustainable or they might not be a wise solution. I believe that all the, let's say, the sur- the surgeries, we should keep it for a health purpose mainly and uh, less for aesthetic is possible. They will not, nothing, nothing in our days, it will be sustainable unless we do changings in our lifestyle. This is the ugly truth, <laughs> mm. but uh, no- nothing is sustainable. Uh, whatever we do is going to be for a period of time. What will be for long is going to be our lifestyle. So we need to be realistic and see that whatever you do, you still need to go to to do changes in your lifestyle. What if like if we take, for example, because I know this is something that's trending massively globally um, with celebrities, with influencers, the weight loss injections. Um, and I know that there is a necessity. I mean, there are people who are diabetic or who have pre-existing conditions that require to take these injections. Um, what if like someone is is actually on these injections, but pairs it up with a healthy lifestyle and exercise? Would you still be for it or against it? Or would you just recommend, no, go all natural, try the healthy lifestyle and exercise rather than taking that with it? I think the uh, patients, they have to consult their their, uh, doctor and to see each of uh, of them, where are they? Because it's very important, you know, their blood tests to be done. So I think in each case, each case should be treated individual because we are different. Our life is different. Our lifestyle is different. So we should, they should check first with the doctor and see what, what is the, what was the best in their case. And then what do you say for like people who are taking these injections just to lose weight? As we said, it's not sustainable. Mm. So we still will still, the the injections, they do a good job uh, when we talk about losing weight, but also we need to be aware and we need to, to look into how, what are the side effects of the injections? Is it worth it to, to be on injections to lose weight and then to, to adjust your lifestyle? Or you can adjust simply your lifestyle with, without going through the injections. Yes. So I think it's, it's very important to look from that perspective because the side effects are not, not, very, not, not something small. So, yes. I mean, if it's a health reason, of course, we need to, we need to take it. But uh, if it's just uh, losing weight, I think we should think twice. So then what are like the slimming procedures that you recommend or that you were talking about? So as an engineer who went and saw these machines <laughs> and opened up the manuals, what did you come up with? It's very important to look into the technology we use um, to be effective, but also to not have side effects. And I think that's very important because in our days, I treat in my patients more the side effects than I I remove fat. Oh, really? Side effects of previous procedures? Previous previous treatments have been done either surgical or non-surgical. But first, I need to treat the side effects. Then we go into our journey. And uh, I think... um, Actually, my patients, they are not aware who comes for consultation. They, they don't they are not even aware that they have side effects. And we discover either with, uh, through scanning or I examine them and then we see that they have side effects. Can you name some of these side effects that you've seen? I think the, um, there are many, but uh, the most important, I think, are the is the fibrosis. OK. Yeah. The fibrosis is uh, the most challenging one. Can you explain a bit more like uh, what happens in that case and and why well, like what's the cause of it the cause are um previous uh, treatments done before by the patients um with machines mainly or surgical they develop and they even they come after eight nine years ten years uh, that the fibrosis stays uh, lifetime if if we don't discover it and do something about it i had patients which they develop fibrosis after uh, treatments uh, aesthetic treatments done before um, actually, they came to me and they were complaining that as much as they diet and as many treatments as they do uh, for slimming, uh, it still doesn't go. So when I, I, I did the scan, I, first when I, when I um, ass- assess the area and when I, I scan, I have seen that actually they have severe fibrosis. And some cases they are really severe. Like okay. and they are keep the, the, the problem was that they were keep repeating the treatments, which uh, they. Actually, they had the side effect, 
and they got, you know, fibrosis on the top of fibrosis. So fibrosis developed by the body uh, when it has been done a very aggressive treatment or a surgical treatment. So th- you get it's an in- it's a scar. It's a scar. Okay. And the thickness it dif- it, uh, is different from one patient to another. And as I was mentioning, some patients, they have multiple. And then it's very, it's impossible. It's impossible to reduce the size of the area, uh, I mean, of, of the area where they want to lose weight or remove the fat uh, by themselves. It's impossible. Okay. So, and, but so, sometimes after the, 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 the treatments they have done, actually the body is changing so much that they, the area stands out. Yeah. It's like out of a shape. I, I remember I had one lady, which she did it on the upper thighs. And when she came to me, she told me, I can never wear uh, trousers, pants, because it was so out. It was a bump in the both sides, Oof. so much out of the shape of her shape that it, it, could even, it couldn't even fit a proper trousers. Wow. So that one, the, one of the, it was one uh, case very challenging. It was one of the first cases actually I got. And until I, I found out what's happening, because tre- slimming treatments, if you do fat reduction treatments and they have fibrosis, it's not going to work. Yeah. So we, you can keep doing, you can do 10, 20, 30 s- treatments and does not, it will not improve. I, I can say that it's very unpredictable. In sense of we start the treatment, but I have to change and adapt the treatment as we go mm. on because it's not it's not the same for everybody. It's so individual and so individual treated that it can it even even from one session to another, I don't know what to expect. So I do the best what I can in one treatment and then we will, I will see next time when the patient comes what's the best to be done at that time because it's changing and it's very unpredictable. So is fibrosis the scar under the, 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 like, internally? Or is it a mass? Like, how does it, like, what's the form of it? Uh, as, as the name says, fibrosis, fiber. So it's, okay. it's a tissue which, in the clinic, we are trying to break it down so we can reach. Because if, if you have um, fibrotic tissue and then we have fat, as much as we work on the fibrotic tissue, we will not reach the fat. Ah, makes yeah, sense. Yeah, so uh, even you do, so you have to treat whatever comes in your way. That's why personalizing treatment is the most important because you deal with what you have front of you at that time. Of course. Um, in the clinic, I developed um, treatments because all the treatments I do are developed by me. So there is nothing which I take, uh, I don't know, usually the machines, they come with protocols and... We f- we should follow protocols in the clinic. What's happening? I don't follow that way. I create protocols for each patient front of me. Nice. So actually, I don't follow what the machine says. The machine <laughs> does <laughs> what I'm saying. Exactly, because so, you're the engineer as well. Yeah. So <laughs> so it's very yes, it's very important to to personalize and to see what we have front of us because it's you know this leads us to great results. Yeah, and it's if a treatment doesn't give the patient instant visible results, believe me, doesn't work. Okay. And was that the process that you followed yes. when you wanted to lose your weight? Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Tell yes. me about that. Like how how was the epiphany like, like just coming up with the idea and actually starting the process? So I the first time when I tried the, the slimming machines, actually myself, were, were I, t- I started using them on my own body. Okay. And I was able to use them on the, on the thighs because it was the, the easiest for me to work on. Okay. And uh, of course, I was with, the, uh, you know, I did a lot of treatments, a lot of trials. Mm-hmm. I was with the manuals in one hand and then trying with the other hand. And then after a while, I have seen that the cellulite goes. And I was like, okay, that's interesting. Let me keep going. <laughs> like on the spot. Uh, it, it took me a while because it took me a while until I understood how it works. Okay. I'm pr- practicing. Okay. But after a while, I saw that, yes, it starts going away. Wow. And I was like, okay, that's interesting. Okay, let me go more. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so uh, I think this it happens with my patients. When you give them a boost, I'm like, okay, it works. And then also they adjust their lifestyle. Yeah. Because when you see that, you know, the fat goes away and I'm like, I don't really want to put it back. Yes. <laughs> so it's I, motivation. Yes. It's motivation. Yes. 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 Absolutely. And this was for me also. 
Yeah. I created my own motivation, and that that kept me going. 